Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 8th through the 14th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your uh, current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. Let's see. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Empress. Who had that? Aquarius. I think so. Um, so, the Empress. I see this as not you, basically. You know, somebody that's tied up to you um in some way here somebody that you're looking at and are considering somehow somewhere within you uh somebody very close to your heart basically could be you but we'll see in the recent past you get the two of pentacles the hermit the six of swords all right um I keep seeing an energy of going back and forth about a situation. Uh, your tendency was that of uh, turning your back to a situation. But at the same time, there was a lot of almost feeling stuck in a situation in terms of like the, the hermit. When it comes in, I never see it as being stuck. Uh, for this reading, it's not that you were stuck. It, it's that that thing where you get all like hmm i'm gonna leave the situation i don't care i'm so mad that i'm just gonna walk out and that's that but then when things settle down and that's what i see with a hermit there was a sense of well i'm gonna stay for a little long I i'm gonna stay for a little while longer you know i'm yeah i'm cool now um so that's what i mean by that back and forth um where there was a situation where things got really, really up for you in terms of intensity, where you could have been like, uh, I'm out of this situation. But then when things cooled down, you were like, nah, I'm going to stay. So that's um, kind of what I see there happening with you for some reason. Um, or somebody tied up to you. In the current situation, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords. All right. You're kind of looking and not only looking, you are creating somehow a brand new beginning for yourself. You're taking action. Um, you're doing it because you enjoy doing it. Whatever this is, it, it feels appealing to you. It feels like, yeah, it, it speaks to me somehow. Uh, so I see you at the beginning of this brand new journey for yourself. Which again, no idea what it is. Um, but you're doing it. In the immediate future, you get the Queen of Swords, the Judgment, the Temperance card. Wow. That's you right there. Um, really, really growing and evolving and expanding. You know, and... That's it for now. Let's clarify, because some things are so up in the air, it's not even funny here. Let's see the Empress. Let's see the Empress, because I don't see the Empress in the reading, I see it here. I don't see that energy in the reading yet, which is very interesting. The Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. It could be an Earth sign here that you may consider to be that one person. Uh, there's definitely a powerful connection that you feel to this particular person. And there's definitely a um, want to start something here with this person. It's a very sincere and pure energy. Like when I look at the reading, I always see uh, things going up and down and up and down. And a lot of the times it's like in an argument with self and all of that. This is very pure, very beautiful shared energy between two people. Um, which a lot of the times, unfortunately, it doesn't manifest into the 3D world. Uh, it happens at a soul level more than anything. So energetically, the two of you are perfectly aligned. 
Let's see here. What's up? Let's do the two of pentacles in the recent past. The page of pentacles, the judgment card, the death card. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, you're going through a process right now from what I can see here in your current and especially in your future um, energies here. Um, and this process knocked at your door for quite some time. And you kept on saying no to it. This process of growth, of transformation, of taking your life into your hands and making it in whichever way you want, basically. So I kind of see you um, trying to go into it and then backing out and then kind of, mm, yeah, this idea of complete change for myself is intriguing, but eh, 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 not today. You know, we'll do it starting Monday. Um until you gave up on it completely i feel like you 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 got distracted by something else let's do the hermit in the recent past yeah you got distracted all right king of swords three of swords the high priestess you're the queen of swords you're shown up here as the queen of swords so your king of swords just popped up in the reading intense thinking about this person and intense pain behind whatever happened here between you and somebody else um it kind of comes in in a weird way in terms of i do not see you two necessarily interacting that much where this much pain would build up however the pain was being felt um that's what i'm saying there should be some sort of um maybe a past life connection between the two of you there's something going on where it looks like the two of you have history even though you haven't even gotten to know each other too well in this reality so it kind of comes in like that hmm. let's do the six of swords in the recent past The Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, the Empress. There it is. There is your Empress. Yeah, you eventually uh, pulled away from this energy from this person, from what I can see. Um, and I feel like it happened in a <clears throat> not very thought of process. Like, you know how people are like, oh my God, I'm hurting so much that I got to leave, I got to leave, I got to leave. And they keep on doing that. And they, they're, they're, there's a process to someone's leaving, right? It almost feels like there was no process here. Like things happen naturally in such a way that you pulled yourself away physically, possibly from this situation, from this person. Um, hmm. You got quite a reading today, Gemini. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's do the Page of Pentacles in the current situation. Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. There's an experience here that you're learning from a lot. Um, and it's inspiring. It's making you uh, take action. You feel like it's making you take action. The action actually comes from you. But something's happening here, possibly in a dynamic for somebody, because I do see communication. It, it, it could be the fact that you're just sitting there looking at yourself in the mirror and just, you know, keep on talking to yourself and just encouraging yourself to take action towards something. Um, this process that you're in the middle of or that you're starting um seems to be a little uncomfortable a little unknown maybe you know there's there's that new sense of it that usually if we if we're not feeling what we're used to then it gets all uncomfortable doesn't mean it's good doesn't mean it's bad it's just uncomfortable but there's something here that's kind of stimulating you it's kind of making you take those steps in that direction regardless uh, of how hard it's going to get or how hard it feels at times, of how, uh, how uncomfortable even. Um, it involves communication though, which uh, kind of 
kind of makes you get going. Um, let's do the Ace of Wands, because I feel like that's a little more important here. Five of Cups, Two of Swords, The Hangman. <clears throat> Whatever's holding you back right now, because I do feel stagnation at times on your part, it's like, again, think of it this way you're starting a brand new path for yourself and then at times it feels like you're stuck you're not progressing nothing's happening you're not moving right um that happens because you tie yourself up to the past when you feel yourself stuck not moving that's because you're in the past and the past is not letting you move because you're not letting yourself get out of the past and be in the present uh something may have happened in the past where it discouraged you to take action to move things and you're bringing that energy into your present situation which has nothing to do with the past but kind of like past come on over why i don't know but come on over you know um i don't see that necessarily stopping you just maybe here and there but i feel like you you're still in that drive mode basically Let's do the Queen of Swords in the immediate future. Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands again, Seven of Wands. That's progress. That's progress from the Ace of Wands here, uh, which is that initiation process on your part where you get stuck at times. That's real progress because you get with the same energy into a balanced kind of energy, into a Okay, I know how to handle this. I know when the past calls me, I'm like, go away past. You belong there. I belong here. That's balance. There's still a little bit of resistance there. There's still a little bit of temptation to, to reply to that past and be like, I'll be right there. Uh, but it's not, it's, it's changing. The energy, the energy is changing into more of an acceptance you know that yeah the past might call you here and there but so what you don't have to go there let's do the judgment in the immediate future strength card four of wands four of swords there's a commitment here that's shown up possibly a marriage uh it's healing energy it's bringing in healing energy this commitment but i feel like there's a decision you're going to need to make when it comes to this situation um hmm. whatever your decision is going to be in regards to this is going to be healing regardless not necessarily the commitment but the decision you're going to make in regards to it it's going to bring in a lot of healing for you. Let's do the temperance card in the um, immediate future. Six of swords, two of pentacles, eight of cups. Oh, Gemini. Remember that two of pentacles, where was it? Oh, oh yeah, that's how we started the reading. See that cycle? See that repetitive cycle? You start the reading with the Two of Pentacles, you end it with the Two of Pentacles. Because you, like any human being, have the tendency to go back to the familiar, to whatever. Even if it sucks, we have that tendency of, well, I need to hang on to something that I knew. I need to... Because you're going to be hit. The progress, I see it here. The more you go in this direction of this progress the more you're gonna feel like you're gonna want more. Your soul is gonna want more growth, more healing, more this, that, and the other. And it's gonna get intense, and it's gonna get unpleasant, and it's gonna get all sorts of things that are gonna make you wanna scream for the past. Um, as long as you're observing this process, it's gonna be a whole lot easier. Yes, we all had times when we were like, I don't want to deal with this. What is this crap? What am I going through? I don't want to experience this. But you're there. You know, you're there already. And you're going to feel like you're not, you want to go back to comfy. I don't feel like you will, though. You know, 
We all have those tendencies, but I don't, I, nope. I do not feel like you will. Maybe you'll visit the past again, but you won't stay there. Because the past energy is gonna be something that you do not resonate with anymore. From the universe, you get the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords. All right. There's an option here showing up for you, uh, possibly in love. I don't know if you trust it, though. I don't know if you trust yourself. I don't know if you trust the situation. I don't know if you trust the person. There's lack of trust in this situation that's popping up for you. For some reason, this needed to show up. It's a very different energy from the one that started the reading, which, as I... Uh, recall I said something like it's very pure very beautiful that comes from inside your soul rather than something outside yourself which it seems like you don't trust or they don't trust you I don't know there's there's lack of trust there okay so that's what I have for you Joe and I hope this helped and I'll see you next time bye